Yellowstone wakes up after Mount St. Helens earthquake and Claudia eruption episode 31. The ground is rising at an alarming rate. In recent weeks, dramatic headlines have spread across social media and video platforms, suggesting that Yellowstone, National Park a home to the world's largest active supervolcano, is waking up after an earthquake at Mount St. Helens and yet another eruption episode at Hawaii's Klauia volcano. Sensational reports warn that the ground at Yellowstone is rising at an alarming rate, fueling fears of a catastrophic eruption. But what is truly happening beneath the Earth's crust, and how much of this is grounded in science? Mount St. Helens Trembles, the Chain Reaction Theory On the surface, the claim seems compelling. Earlier this year, a swarm of earthquakes rattled Mount St. Helens, the most active volcano in the Cascade Range. Many wondered if those tremors, felt across the Pacific Northwest, could somehow trigger instability at Yellowstone, located more than 800 miles away. Scientists at the USGS, however, emphasize that while the tremors at Mount St. Helens are real and worthy of monitoring, they cannot directly influence Yellowstone's caldera system. These volcanic systems are separated by vast geological structures and different tectonic settings. Yet, the timing of these events has captured the public imagination, leading many to believe they are connected. Claudia's Ongoing Eruption, Episode 31 Meanwhile, across the Pacific, Hawaii's Claudia volcano entered its so-called Episode 31 of eruptive activity. Lava fountains, glowing rivers of molten rock, and sulfur plumes have once again reminded the world of Earth's fiery inner power. It is no surprise that when people see one volcano erupting and another trembling, they instinctively ask, could Yellowstone be next? This question has only grown louder after reports of the ground at Yellowstone showing measurable uplift. Yellowstone's ground uplift, what the data shows. At Yellowstone, scientists continuously monitor the caldera using GPS satellites and seismometers. The latest measurements confirm that the ground has indeed been rising about one centimeter since late spring. On paper, the phrase the ground is rising sounds ominous, but experts stress that this is a seasonal trend linked to snowmelt groundwater recharge, and natural hydrothermal fluctuations. In fact, Yellowstone's ground has been rising and falling in cycles for decades. Between 2004 and 2010, parts of the caldera rose by as much as 25 centimeters. Far more dramatic than today's movement, without triggering any eruption. Earthquakes beneath Yellowstone July's monitoring data from the Yellowstone volcano. Observatory YVO recorded 52 small earthquakes, the largest at magnitude to 0.8. While such seismicity often sparks alarm online, geologists view it as normal background activity in a restless hydrothermal region. Yellowstone typically sees 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes per year, most too small to be felt by visitors. The real danger signs scientists look for are swarms of strong quakes, rapid ground deformation, 
and sustained increases in volcanic gases, none of which are currently being observed. Why the Supervolcano Awakening headline spread The combination of three dramatic events, Mount St. Helens quakes, Claudia's fiery eruption, and Yellowstone's slight uplift, has created fertile ground for speculation. Online videos often stitch these stories together, presenting them as a global chain reaction. The phrase the ground is rising at an alarming rate plays into deep public fears about Yellowstone's catastrophic potential. Indeed, if Yellowstone were to erupt in its most extreme form, the consequences would be global. Ash clouds could ground flights worldwide, disrupt agriculture, and plunge parts of the earth into a volcanic winter. But scientists stress that there is no evidence of such an eruption being imminent. The official word from us Gackerding to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Alert level, normal aviation color code, green seismicity, low, consistent with background levels, ground deformation, minor seasonal uplift within historical norms, hydrothermal activity active geysers and hot springs, but no unusual changes recent minor eruptions at geysers like Steamboat and Old Faithful. Along with occasional mud water bursts at hydrothermal pools. Air spectacular, but natural for Yellowstone. The bigger picture geologists remind us that Yellowstone's story is not one of immediate doom but of long-term geological processes. The magma chamber beneath the park is vast, but mostly filled with hot, semi-solid rock, not eruptible magma. Monitoring systems are so advanced that if any significant unrest were brewing, the scientific community would likely detect warning signs years, if not decades, in advance. Still, the fascination remains, each tremor, geyser eruption, or centimeter of uplift spark speculation. Could this be the beginning of something bigger? Conclusion, reality versus sensation, while videos and articles proclaim that Yellowstone is waking up in response to Mount St. Helens and Claudia, the scientific consensus is clear. Yellowstone is behaving normally, the ground uplift is minor, earthquakes are small, and there are no signals of an impending eruption. The Earth's fiery giants, St. Helens, Claudia, and Yellowstone 